This video is brought to you by Steamforce Games and their Epic Encounter series. With just one box, you can run an awesome cinematic adventure that your players will never forget. Use our link below the video to see all your Epic Encounter adventures. And by Hit Point Press and their deck of many animated spell cards. These tarot size reference cards feature all the spell details you need on one side and beautiful, unique animations on the other. A great gift for the holidays. Learn more at animatedspells.com. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. It's finally time. I wanted to wait until we had covered all five of the Adult Chromatic Dragon minis for WizKids, and now that we have, it is time to take a look at the big mama herself, Tiamat. And thank you to WizKids for sending her to us to review. This is, I think, the biggest mini WizKids has ever produced, and that's saying something. I am going to need a bigger table to compare her to our other dragons, but uh, we'll make it work. Before we jump in, though, another quick DMs Guild wreck for you. Today I wanted to share one that Grady here contributed to. Not not another Monster Quest Volume 1, Cobalt's Goblins and Bugbears. This book really expands your options with these races that are usually nothing more than low-level pests. You'll get all sorts of stories, adventures, and NPCs to populate your world and expand how your players view these creatures. Check it out today using our link below the video and the discount code HeraldGoblin5. Now, kneel before Tiamat. Here she is in all her glory. We had to really pull back on the camera to get her entire impressive wingspan on camera. Now she comes on a, sorry, what? Oh, I'm being told that we're showing the wrong Tiamat. Okay, there we go, that's better. Tiamat arrives in a few pieces. You need to slot in the wings and the tail, but having them be removable definitely makes moving and storing her more doable. Though I have to imagine if you spend the money to buy this impressive figure, you're gonna want to show her off in your place. Slotting her together is as easy as you'd imagine. She comes on an 8-inch base that doesn't have an inner circle as some WizKids minis do to indicate their size in the stat block. In her stat blocks, she's listed as gargantuan, which means that she should occupy a 4x4 inch section of the map or more. Tiamat is clearly more. Let me give you some measurements. Her height is 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Her length is 17 inches or 43 centimeters. And her width is 27 inches or 69 centimeters. And she weighs about five pounds or about two and a quarter kilograms. She is enormous. And honestly, finding a place to display her isn't that easy. We'll compare her to our other dragon minis here in a moment. If you're not familiar with Tiamat, well, she is a lawful evil dragon goddess of greed, the queen of the evil chromatic dragons, and the sister of Bahamut, the ruler of the good metallic dragons. And she's been trapped in the Nine Hells, Avernus to be specific, for the last ambiguous amount of time. The rise of Tiamat adventure involved a cult of her followers trying to free her from her prison there. And as you can imagine, her presence can also be felt in descent into Avernus, though she has more of a tangential presence in that adventure. I think if you're going to get this many, it is well worth expanding her role in Descent into Avernus, which is what she deserves anyway. If you're adventuring in Avernus, Tiamat deserves part of that spotlight. She also has an entry in the Explorer's Guide to Wildmount, which keeps her story pretty similar to the main D&D continuity. They also give us three commandments of Tiamat. One, amass wealth, but spend little. The gold and the power that comes with it is sufficient reward in itself. Two, do not forgive nor forget an indignity to yourself. Let no affront go unpunished. And three, take what you covet. Those without the strength to defend their dominion are not worthy to have one. If you want more 5e lore on her, you can pick up Fizban's Treasury of Dragons, which also features a CR30 stat block for an aspect of Tiamat, which is a way that she can manifest on the material plane. She also has a CR30 stat block in Rise of Tiamat, and the stat blocks are quite different. Her aspect stat block includes an ability to refresh her hit points and legendary resistances and gain new mythic powers when she's brought down to zero hit points. Points. Tiamat is in many ways the ultimate foe in Dungeons & Dragons, and this mini definitely does her justice. In these clips, you can see her when she's compared to many of her other WizKids dragons, including the five chromatic dragons, our sapphire gem dragon, our new gold dragon, the Chardolin dragon from Rime of the Frost Maiden, and our only ancient dragon so far, the ancient white Arviatris, among others. 
and what she looks like compared to her old official Tiamat figure from 2014. That thing really does look like a toy now. And we'll try to include her when we make videos about future releases in the Dragon line. I am quite interested to see what she looks like besides next year's Tarask figure from WizKids. You'll also need a pretty big map to accommodate a battle with her as she takes up an 8 inch by 8 inch chunk of the grid. It's a good opportunity to use a battle mat like the new ones from WizKids that we'll be reviewing soon. Tiamat from WizKids has an MSRP of $399.99, though there are some pretty substantial discounts available online if you shop around. And also be sure to check with your local game store as well. She's scheduled to land before the end of the year here, so get those pre-orders in if you want to make sure to get one. I believe some folks have started to receive theirs already. Speaking of the end of the year, it is time to start thinking about getting some nice gifts for your gaming group. Let's start with the deck of many animated spell cards from our friends at Hitpoint Press. Not only do they have spell card decks of all levels for the spell casters at your table, but you can also get animated condition decks to use when you have to remember all those pesky condition rules. And you have animated townsfolk cards for your your GM to fill out the village your party is visiting. Check them all out today at animatedspells.com. And if you're looking to give someone their first experience at GMing, check out the Epic Encounter series by Steamforge Games. If they already have some dice and a familiarity with the 5e rules, then this box gives them everything else they need. Monster minis, maps, tokens, and a very clear and fun adventure book. They can get all sorts of adventures to suit their tastes. Check out all the options today at the link below the video that's epic encounters from steamforce games and don't forget to check out our not another monster quest volume one kobolds goblins and bugbears using our link and code below the video here check out all our dm's guild recommendations at gallantgoblin.com slash dm's guild check out our amazon gift guide at gallantgoblin.com slash amazon and sign up for our kobold plush kickstarter by visiting kobaldplush.com. and please come join us on discord twitter facebook and instagram for now Please stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>